Hello everyone, um, I'm Julia from Creative971 and I'm here today with Hisham. Hisham from My Fatura. Exactly. It's nice to meet you Julia and I'm more than happy to answer all your questions regarding anything related to payment gateways. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And we've done that session today um, to give you a bit of more understanding about the partnership of Creative971 and My Fatura. Where does My Fatura come in? What are the payment gateway mm -hmm. specific questions? So we got a lot of questions actually from clients, from events and of course Hisham has a lot of questions that yeah, he receives on a daily sure. basis. So um, we just want to go through a few questions and highlight a few points Perfect. and he shams the man thank you <laughs> so we link up everything as well with the social media channels with the contact details so you can get can get in touch so Hisham um, let's start right let's away start, yeah, <laughs> people <sure>. are waiting <laughs> uh, so the first question that we received is what are the charges and the rates mm -hmm. offered with my fatura mm -hmm. actually regarding charges and rates we have a list price like usually we start with all startup businesses and home businesses who are uh, newly established with a rate of 3.5 percent per transaction however this rate is negotiable based on business volume for example if we receive the high volume business we need to negotiate it down and get the rate that mostly suit the business and usually for partners and anyone who we ha we're having with them a strategic partnership if they have some clients like for example like creative 971 as an example their customer will immediately get a discounted rate of 2.75 percent plus one dirham per transaction and also for our setup fee we have a one-time payment for the integration and lifetime customer support and all everything related to payment gateway usually it's 2000 dirham for and for partners it's always 1500 without any volume negotiation or anything we'll just start directly if they are coming Amazing. through uh, a partner Amazing. so guys we're a partner so you yes. heard right you're saving money here mm -hmm. um, and the other thing as well that Tisha mentioned when it's a high volume so let's say if your business already generates a high volume mm -hmm. go to talk to him directly exactly yeah um, cool, so usually requirements needed was question number two. What do people yeah. need when they come to you to start? Yeah. Actually, the, our requirements are simple, like that's what my Fatura is known for. Like our processes are so simple and easy. We only need the trade license of the business, the Emirates ID of all shareholders in the trade license and a business proof, whether it's a website or an Instagram page. And by this information, we are ready to go live. Cool. So a lot of people ask us what mm. other payment gateways do is they ask for the terms and conditions. Mm. You're not specifically asking for no. that. Yeah, so exactly. let's repeat the requirements yeah. as a checklist. Exactly. One, two, three. Yeah. Let's just repeat exactly. it again. Trade license, Emirates ID for all shareholders and a business proof, whether it's a website or an Instagram page. That's it from Amazing. our side. Amazing. Thank you. So it makes things mm. a lot easier, as you exactly. guys can already see. But we just reached question number two, so there's so much more Hisham yes. has to tell us. <laughs> um, so can I create my account using my personal bank account? I think this is a lot yeah. uh, coming question even for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. We receive this question a lot, especially there are some uh, newly established businesses, home businesses, for example, selling, like, let's say, home, home uh, food or something like that and distributing to their neighborhoods. So they are not still a fully developed business and they can't invest on a company bank account and all of this. For us, we accept personal bank account, but uh, our uh, conditions for that is that the business owner should have a trade license and this trade license should be under their name, whether it's an e-trader license or any other trade license. If it's under the shareholder name, we can take the shareholder's bank account, personal bank account, and send them the money. Amazing. So that means technically, if I'm in the process of establishing my license, but I need to go live urgently, yeah. I could do that and then provide you with a license, Definitely. for example, yeah. later. That's yeah, amazing. Sure. Amazing. So, um, guess question number four. Are customers comfortable to use a payment link here mm -hmm. in the UAE? Yeah, actually, uh, for payment links, like as we noticed, the customers who use it uh, most of the time are the customers who are like newly into the market, get, who got new to the market. For example, they're selling only through Instagram. They don't have the capital or the amount to invest in a website and in a big team or something like that. They are just getting orders from Instagram and selling it directly to customers. So this type of customers will be so happy to use payment links. It will help them to boost their business, to have like a starting point. Then they will move up to the uh, website integration and connect to the website and grow their business more and more. 
mm. and we have witnessed that uh, many times with many of our customers. Mm. Actually, we did too. Yeah. Um, that question, as you said, it could be one from the merchant, but mm -hmm. what happens? Are is a client confident to use a link, or would they rather stay? Because you know, when they, uh, yeah. it's like a redirection mm -hmm. of the URL. Yeah. But what I recently read as well, and you can maybe, I mean, you're the expert. Yeah. Um, what people understand when it gets redirected from a third-party payment gateway yeah. that the trust is there because mm -hmm. you as a payment gateway wouldn't be offering that service if you're not vetted yeah. and approved by UAE or let's say by the authorities yeah, here so what what's your take on that yeah on for that actually like uh, at the beginnings like customer might be somehow confused like why I'm getting redirected or something but uh, now in the market like my fatura is well known especially in GCC area we are like in the top provider in Kuwait and among the top in the UAE so like customers have the knowledge of what is my fatura. They are seeing it a lot through many transactions, through many online uh, businesses here in the UAE. And also our redirection page is so uh, uh, pre prepared in a good manner actually to show, for example, it shows like we are verified from Visa, from MasterCard. It shows the business name who is uh, dealing with and it's shown like in a proper way, not you know all around the place or something like that yeah no it shows actually mm -hmm. in a clear template it even shows mm -hmm. the invoice number it yeah. shows the details so it's actually a setup where you can say mm -hmm. oh, this is a trustable uh, format so that's also very important um, then um, question number five was mm -hmm. reoccurring billing and how does this work here uh -huh. yes in my future actually we have recurring billing but it will be somehow different from the usual one that people are used to people are used for example to auto deduction recurring billings for example like every month my customers uh, uh, I will deduct from my customer this amount for a subscription in my fatura we don't have automatic deduction because of uh, security reasons because for example we don't need any of our customers to be in the position where their customers get uh, get some amount deducted from their card and then report to the bank like no no nobody asked me to for my authorization for this payment like mm -hmm. how did they take it and this will cause a lot of headache for business owners especially if it's a new business or a home business it will be very hard to communicate back with the bank and to solve the chargeback issues that might come from this so for us we make it as an automatic invoice generation like every month we will generate an invoice and it will be sent automatically but customer should approve and pay and put his card in for it won't it won't be on an automatic manner it won't deduct it automatically i think also this is safe in regards to the uae guidelines because exactly. as such the let's say auto direct debits mm -hmm. as we know them probably from europe or the rest of the world it's not as per setup how it's structured exactly. here but i like the fact that you actually have a monthly invoice yeah. like that um, let's say a customer can keep track on their invoices especially where i think it's it's good for you know even meal or food companies yeah, they definitely. use that a lot in yeah, terms of triggering exactly. payment links and don't have to go in and it's just automatically yeah, structured exactly. and sent on, on mm -hmm. the day so you can specify a day within the month pick that and it will yeah. automatically send even if exactly. it's the fifth or the tenth yeah. of the month exactly it will be on weekly monthly or yearly we have these three options mm -hmm. and you will start the start uh, you will choose the start dates and the end date of it so mm -hmm. it will be very simple and useful in many cases amazing so there you go all your subscribers uh, e-commerce uh, owners you can make it happen my fatura <laughs> is the right contact for you guys um, cool. Another question uh, much received is how often shall I expect a fund transfer to my account? Let's say once mm -hmm. I have an e-commerce website, my fatura is integrated, how many weeks, months, years mm -hmm. does it take yeah, for exactly. me to get the, my money? The settlement cycle actually. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. exactly. For that, in my fatura, we are, our time, our basic time is every week on Tuesday specifically. But some of our vendors prefer to have it, for example, on monthly basis or bi-weekly ba basis because the bank will take some uh, transfer fees of 25 dirhams per settlement. Yeah. So for that, we ask our vendor, would you like to set it up on the standard way, like every week on a Tuesday? Or would you like to make it as a monthly uh, basis or on bi-weekly basis? It will be both ways on a Tuesday. Some prefer like on the first Tuesday of every month, some of the last Tuesday, like it's up to the vendor. We mm. live the choice open for them okay that's amazing yeah. then question number seven um, do payment gateways require the merchant to have a legal entity in the UAE mm -hmm. and if they will allow a personal bank account I think that question was there in the beginning already mm -hmm. but yeah. um, do they require a legal entity like you said if they don't have a trade license how does it work yeah exactly if if they don't have a trade license actually it won't work with us 
like we can't uh, accept businesses without a trade license but uh, they can get an e-trader license also from our partners Dubai Economic Departments it's so simple so easy they can get it online within like uh, 10 minutes 15 minutes and it will be simple they don't need an address for example to uh, for example like a real big company or something like that they can do it like as a home business or something like that mm -hmm. and it will work from that way with us okay also the question of why needing a license when opting for a payment gateway think of it that way my fatura is a business and they have to be protected under the laws as well yeah. so meaning if if you see like you asked the question before uh, is the payment link the site that opens the redirect of my fatura safe it's the reverse question it wouldn't be safe if my exactly. fatura would allow any person to just sign up and hit exactly. and run so it, there needs to be a should protection. be something yeah exactly yeah. but to clarify that as well a personal bank account can be used provision giving that you are showing that your trade license is under process yeah. or you have somewhat a DED exactly. or a e, e -trader, e -trader license, license yeah. or something in exactly. place yeah um, so um, in terms of question number eight mm -hmm. um, are there any restricted countries currencies yeah. that the payment gateway doesn't support at the moment or how mm -hmm. does it work with business opportunities in terms of other countries yeah. than the UAE for, for the moment with you? Yeah, exactly. Like for us now, there are no restricted countries or anything, but with most of our vendors, with we start with the GCC access only. For example, they can collect payments within GCC, but if the business is already established, already uh, old in the market, and they like they established all the foundations for the business, we can also apply for international access and we can provide it to them as well. There's no restrictions. However, the collection will be always in AED, like in dirhams, they will receive their amounts in dirhams or in other uh, GCC currency as well, as we support okay. all GCC countries. Yeah. Sounds great, so take note of that. 